On the 2nd of September 2019, the PDPC was notified that a directory containing personal data belonging to Management Corporation Strata Title Plan No 3400 was accessible on the internet by any member of the public. Prior to the incident, the organization was unaware that the directory could be accessed via an internet protocol address without the need for any login credentials. The directory contained personal data of 562 individuals collected for the purposes of complying with the Building Maintenance and Strata Management Act, the Building Maintenance Regulations 2005, as well as to contact subsidiary proprietors of the organization. Investigations revealed that the organization purchased a Network Attached Storage Device NAS, for the purposes of internal file sharing among its administrative staff over a local network. The directory was one of the files stored on the NAS. It admitted that it had not conducted any security reviews of its IT systems, including the NAS and the directory. Consequently, it was unaware of their configuration, which allowed access from the internet without any form of access control. The organization ought to have formulated a policy for the NAS and the directory, implemented the IT security practices that give effect to the policy, and conducted periodic security reviews to ensure that the practices are adequate. Fortunately, the PDPC only issued MCST 3400 a warning as the organization had taken remedial actions to address the gaps in their security arrangements. So what are the takeaways? First, organizations should conduct code reviews and pre-launch testing before new IT features or changes to IT systems are deployed. These processes allow organizations to pick up and rectify errors and or flaws in the new IT features and or systems prior to deployment. Second, organizations should conduct periodic security reviews of its IT systems. The comprehensiveness of such security reviews should be scoped based on the organization's assessment of its data protection needs. Third, as part of the periodic security review, organizations should avail themselves of up-to-date online vulnerability scanning tools and are expected to acquire reasonable proficiency in their use or seek assistance by engaging vendors with the appropriate expertise. The use of such tools provides organizations a reasonable chance of detecting common security vulnerabilities in their IT systems. Lastly, appointing a Data Protection Officer DPO, is a mandatory role in every organization. The DPO plays a critical role in ensuring PDPA compliance and advising stakeholders on essential obligations, including the protection of personal data. It's important to note that DPOs can be either in-house or outsourced to professional PDPA service providers, such as Privacy Ninja. If you want to improve your organization's data protection and cybersecurity posture, then click subscribe and smash the bell icon. Let's do this together.